Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Green Hell, everybody. It's like day nine, I think. Like day nine, and we're going to go ahead and cover uh, the forging side of things right now. Making armor, making weapons, as far as what I've discovered. Okay, so first of all, you need to go ahead and learn mud. If you haven't learned mud, you're going to want to go down, you're going to want to go down to the water, you're going to right-click, hold down the right mouse button, and go take mud. Once you do that, you're going to pick up a pile of mud, you can drop it, it just goes back into the ground. It does, and then you will learn all the mud recipes, including the charcoal kiln. The charcoal kiln, over, uh, which I made, charcoal kiln is right here in your book, under fire. This is the mud charcoal furnace, okay? When you make that, guys, what's going to happen is all it does, I destroyed this. Uh, actually, I destroyed mine. It, you, you're gonna, there's a little dot in the middle. Just start feeding it wood. You can feed it planks. You can feed it big sticks. You can feed it small sticks. It doesn't matter. But just feed it until it's full, and then it'll say it, it's ready, and you, you go over, and you'll put a door on it, which is another mud brick. So it's four mud bricks in all to make that thing and a lot of freaking wood. But when it's done, and then you can see it says use furnace, when then what happens is it'll start to smoke. When it's done, it'll give you 15 charcoal. You can just set it and forget it. All right, so once you get all your charcoal, or you can just grab the charcoal out of these fires, it's fine. Then you want, while, you, while that furnace is working, you're gonna to wanna to go down to a cave. There's one right over by, by fish camp, by this, other, by this other native camp, if you don't know where it's at. Uh, look at my previous videos, or look on, the, look on, you, look on Google for Green Hell Map, and you'll see where the caves are, okay? In the caves, you're gonna find iron veins. If you don't know what those look like, look at my very first video when the, the mud update dropped. I, sh I show you an iron vein in there. I'm not gonna go over there now. All right, once you get that, once you pick up one piece of iron, then your forge will unlock. And once your forge unlocks, this is your forge right here. Once your forge unlocks, uh, it's, gonna look, it's gonna be here. Your mud forge, okay? It's five long sticks and six mud bricks. Okay, then what you'll do is you'll feed your charcoal through this hole, and you'll take then and you'll stick stick your iron or one iron or one can. These empty cans, these empty cans right here. I'm at fish camp. The fish camp cans are right here. Let me show you. They you find them right here. And for some reason, when I leave camp and come back, they respawn. I think that's a I think that that is a uh, glitch. I don't think it's meant to be. But I've been get I got a lot of cans now because of it, so I don't have to go mine iron. So I'm I'm a happy camper because one can equals one iron, so I'm good. Anyway, you put it in there, it'll start to smelt. When it's done, it comes out as smelted iron ore. Okay, we're gonna take that. All right, so take a mud brick and harvest it. Okay, once you harvest it, you're gonna get three empty molds. Okay, these are empty molds. Okay, once you have your three empty molds. Take a mold, take your iron ore that you've got there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to craft this empty mold. And we're going to take our melted iron ore right there, like so. And you know what? I'm going to put a can in there to get that working for right now. Um, anyway, so your empty mold, some iron, and then whatever it is that you want to make an iron piece out of. So, like, I, want, I wanted to make a, a hatchet or a pickaxe. So, see, I have a metal blade there. So what I did was I took a, a stone blade and I'm crafting a blade mold, like, like so, okay? Like so, there you go. There's your blade mold right there. So, and then what you'll do once, once you, now I already put this in here, so we're gonna have to wait for it to smelt up, but once, once you have your mold, you put it in the, in the furnace and it'll bake, okay? Once it bakes, then what you'll do is you, you take it out and you break it. And what you're going to get is you're going to get you're going to get a metal blade. If you use a if you use an arrow, you can use a single arrow and it'll give you an arrow cast. All right? And then you'll get three metal arrowheads from one arrow cast. Okay? You'll get one blade from one one blade cast. Now, armor Armor, I make stick I made stick armor and did the same thing. I took an empty mold and armor and the smelted metal put those together and I got these two metal armor pieces two metal armor cast pieces these are going to work like the sticks I need another batch of ar or metal before I can actually before I can actually make a set of armor so a piece of armor so I can't show you but you're going to have to do that twice at least because it takes three sticks to make stick armor right when it when the mold came out it said 
armor mold stick version or stick style or something like that. So what I'm wondering is, and this you might you might test this out, you might try this out, and I'm going to is using the better armors. Use the bone armor and see if that makes a different type of of metal piece, and use the armadillo armor and see if that makes a different type of metal piece. So while we're waiting on this, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take where that mold go. I'm going to take this mold because we have one more piece of metal. And we're going to actually make another piece of armor as well. Craft that. Use this. Take this metal. There's our form armor stick. Missing text. Craft it. And we're going to shove this thing in the, in the forge. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. All right. Now, I don't need that anymore. I'm going to use that as a, as a template. It usually destroys the item you're, you're, you're making, you're using. But uh, this will be fine. Go ahead and just... I mean, the last charcoal we've got, hopefully that's going to get, because it'll be enough. It'll be enough. And we'll go back to sleep. Three hours. And it's done. Armor form. Go ahead and harvest. All right. So there's, we have four pieces of armor here. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go grab a banana leaf, and we'll see if we can't make ourselves a piece of metal armor. Okay, so we'll take this banana leaf, we're going to craft, and then we're going to take this guy, this guy, this guy. Is it four pieces? No, it's got to be two. It's got to be two, two Liana, right? Liana, Liana, metal armor, guys. Metal armor! Look at that. Let's go ahead and let's... um. Let's put a piece on and see what it looks like. All right, well, that's what it looks like. It's, um, it looks badass. What's the uh, percentage here? 37% durability, but it's got to be better than what you got. I'm so hungry. That, I'm so hungry because I've been, I've been smelting stuff, man. I'm starving to death, guys. I think <laughs> that's your metal armor. All right, let's do some combinations on some metal on some metal tools and see what we get. Okay, guys, and just so you know, it's about day twelve, <laughs> so it's uh, it's been about four days uh, in this recording. So it's been it takes a long time to get all this stuff done. So let's go ahead and and let's let's try this. So you're, right now, guys, I we're gonna okay. If you go with a metal blade and you craft that, and you go to uh, rope, right? You get a metal blade. Just those two together, you get a metal blade. If you had a stick to it. Nothing. You had this, it goes away. So that means that you can't use two sticks and a, and, a, and a liana. So if you go with two of these, you're going to get a metal pickaxe. So that means that there is no hatchet here. So I have a, where's my other blade? I got a second blade around here. Here's the second blade. Add a second blade maybe? No, it doesn't work. All right, so how about a metal armor piece? No, that doesn't work. So I don't know what the axe is, guys. I don't know what the axe is. I, I don't know if it might be... Maybe you have needed to make an obsidian mold. Maybe that's a little different. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's not in the game. Maybe they forgot. Maybe it, they missed it. Maybe it's not in the game. So if, if it is in the game and you figure it out, please let me know in the comment section below so I can make one. I would appreciate it. All right. So in, but let's make. In the meantime, let's go ahead and make a uh, a pickaxe. Let's go ahead and make a a, a metal pickaxe. We're gonna do that. There we go. There's that. That's a metal pickaxe. Let's go ahead and, and we're gonna, I'm gonna drop this right here and we'll keep that it's gonna help us because we're gonna we're gonna all right that's it that's a new entry in my in my in my notebook that's great all right so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna do arrows arrows so we're gonna go ahead and take one of these little baby arrowheads we got right there let's go ahead and do a small stick then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some feathers normally it's just stick and feathers right that's all it is for, for a regular arrow well we have one more slot that's gonna be for your liana that's for a metal arrow it's quite a bit for an arrow but it's blue. That's a metal arrow, guys. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what else. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's do a spear. Since I've got this other, uh, since I've got this other one right here, we do a weak spear. This one right here. So all you need now, I think, is just a a rope, and you've got yourself a metal spear. Got to be the best spear in the game, I think. Right? I would think. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Right? Oh, this get rid of that stone spear. Oh, where'd it go? No, get rid of that stone spear. Use a metal spear. Boom, baby. Yeah. Gotta be better. 
Has to be, right? Let's see if I can kill something with one stroke. Where's that armadillo at? If he runs off with my metal spear, I'm going to be pissed. He ran off with my metal spear! No, you bastard! You bastard! Oh, he died. Oh, he died. Okay, good. Yay. Okay, so it might take a minute, but you'll kill him. <laughs> He'll bleed out. <laughs> Give me that thing. Take that armadillo shell, too. We actually need to take that home with us. Because we need to... <laughs> um, I'm going to drop that campfire. I'm going to drop that ash. There we go. We'll come back with that ash later. So, yeah, guys. So, yeah, the metal spear is OP. Uh, I know it is. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be better than the obsidian spear. Although, I don't know. The obsidian spear might be sharper, but this might, this might last longer. What's the durability on that, anyway? Speaking of which... 36%. So yeah, I'm going to have to keep making stuff to, to get it to be better. But anyway, guys. Okay, guys. I realized by watching the footage that it was kind of confusing what I had said. So let's make it clear and concise for you so you, it, you there's no confusion. In order of how you should do things, in my opinion, go down and get your mud. Learn your mud recipes, okay? Then make your mud mixer. And then make some bricks. Once you make your bricks, make your furnace, okay? Put your... Put your sticks in, in, let me show you how that works too, real quick. Your sticks go in that little dot, and then you have to fill the whole thing up. Like I said, you can use planks, big sticks, small sticks, doesn't matter. Then what you'll do, there's th so it's three of, the, uh, three of your bricks, and then the fourth one goes on the front once it's full. Okay? Light it, and then head out. Go to a cave, get your iron ore. Which you can get from, you can use a hatchet if you don't want to make a pickaxe. And the pickaxe is actually one stick, two liana, and one stone blade. Get your iron, get your forge recipe, come back, build your forge. Okay? By that time, this charcoal should be done. It might be done. It's about eight hours in game time. So it takes a long time. Okay, so, um, or if you're here, you can just get the cans. You don't need, oh, you're going to have to go get metal, though, to get that forge. You have to. So then, make your molds while you're smelting your iron. Okay? Smelt your, put your iron in to start smelting. Make your molds. When the iron is done, then take whatever object you want, like say your stone blade and the mold and the iron, put it together, then bake that. Take it out. Harvest it. That's going to give you your metal pieces, okay? All right, guys. Well, I hope that helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This will probably be the only green hell you get today because this took a long time. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye-bye.